<laughs> Hello folks, welcome back to Abbotsford Small Business where you can find us at abbotsfordsmallbusiness.com or you can give us an email at abbotsfordsmallbusiness at gmail.com My chair is rolling away here. I borrowed my wife's what they call a ball chair. Have you seen these things? I'll, I'll show it to you. Oh, right here, see? It's, uh, it's very comfortable, <laughs> but it tends to get away on me sometimes. <laughs> I'm chuckling. I'm having a very, very good and fun day today, as all days should be. Always inject humor and fun stuff into your day, would you please? Business is uh, stressful enough without not being able to enjoy it. Okay, so the first, we're doing a series on how to set up your first WordPress web page. Some people call it a blog, some people call it a web page, sometimes you can find a theme in there that makes it look like a beautifully prepared and professional looking web page instead of a blog. But you know what's happening lately? In the, in the internet world, there are SEOs, that's search engine optimizers, and all of the experts are saying websites have become too complicated and too flashy and too glitzy. It's like looking at Las Vegas neon signs, you know, you get overwhelmed. And they are saying now that the easiest thing to do is keep it very simple, very elegant. What did Steve Jobs do? He kept it very simple and elegant. And the story becomes the main thing. So if you are, say, a professional speaker, and you speak on motivation, and you want to go out and you want to make that your main story, put a big video right in front. The first thing that your viewers see <clears throat> about you explaining why, why you're doing that, but keep it very, very simple and keep it elegant. So I'm going to show you some very simple, elegant themes today. We're doing the themes today. So the first part was setting up with your GoDaddy account. So I, to be honest with you, I really enjoy it when I can make one phone call. I can register their domains. You don't have to phone up for registering, but you can go to GoDaddy.com, search for a domain, see if it's available, then register it. Then after you register it, it's yours for one year, two years, I would suggest two or five years. Because if you've got a really great name, you want to do it for at least five years. It costs like you know, 11 bucks a year. So for 55 bucks or five years, no one can use that name except you. Um, and then we, we phone GoDaddy and we condensed that call into about a seven minute podcast because I wanted to show you the highlights of how really incredibly easy it is to phone GoDaddy and let them take care of the whole thing. They do it all. They, they upload the WordPress platform for you so you can start blogging right away. So that was part one. And part two is, uh, was Jetpack and your first post entry. So we went in there and we, we created our first post entry, which is really exciting because now you're blogging, right? Today, we're going to go and we're going to choose a theme and we're going to muddle around in the themes. Now, don't panic. When you, when you do this, when you get involved with WordPress, please don't panic because it's not worth it. Just relax, treat it as an adventure, grab a cup of coffee, grab an orange juice, grab your favorite bevy, beverage that is, and then just just cruise around and make it fun. Make it a fun experience. So yesterday was Jetpack. Today it's going to be uh, Appearance. And let's go over here. I'm going to click on the Appearance button. So this, let me talk to you a little bit about themes. Themes is what's going, it's going to be your front page. It's going to be what people see automatically when they go and visit your site. As I say, please don't make it too fancy. And don't put garish colors up there. You know, I mean, if, if you're a professional motivated speaker, you don't want to use McDonald's colors, right? Orange and reds and, you know, you don't want to make it look like Ronald McDonald the clown. You are a professional. Ronald McDonald uh, speaks to another need, another market. So pick your colors that you're comfortable with. Make, uh, make sure that the font is easier to read. And also consider this. If your viewers are getting up in age, like me, <laughs> make the font just a little bit bigger because if it's easier to see, it's a lot less stressful as well. You don't want your website or your blog to be stressful for your viewer or your listener. So let's focus our attention here. It says current theme. Now the current theme that, that came pre-installed with, with all of this is called 2011. 
by the WordPress team. Let me read you the paragraph because you're going to get used to reading these paragraphs on a description, what it can and cannot do. We'll talk about widgets. We'll talk about a whole bunch of things that go along with the theme because they are installed what they call widgets. Okay, so what a widget is is this. If you own an Android device, um, you will be familiar with widgets. Uh, or even if you go on Chrome and use Chrome. A widget is a piece of software that you click on it and it does something. It's like a little program, a little mini program, and it opens up and it, and it fulfills a function. Right? So we'll talk about widgets as well. But right now, let me read uh, this paragraph for you by the theme 2011. The 2011 theme for WordPress is sophisticated, lightweight, and when they say lightweight, they mean it doesn't take a lot of resources. It loads really, really quickly so viewers can see. There's nothing worse than piling a whole bunch of stuff on your WordPress blog, and it takes 12 seconds to load. That You want to avoid that at all costs. Okay, so lightweight and adaptable. Make it yours with a custom menu. Now, we'll talk about custom menus in future shows, but today we're just going to talk about themes. We want to get you started blogging as soon as you can. Custom menu or a header. Now, a header is that thing on the head. Think of, think of okay, your, your blog has a head, a header, and a foot, a footer, and down on your feet, right? A header image and background. Then go further with available theme options for light or dark color schemes, so you can change that. Custom link colors. When you link something, and we'll talk about that in future shows, but we want to concentrate on the theme. And three layout choices. That means they could offer uh, two two places to put your text instead of three at the you know they can offer a whole bunch of interesting choices or layouts for your blog 2011 comes equipped with a showcase page template that transforms your front page into a showcase to show off your best content widget support galore that means sidebar so sidebar over here on the right hand side is called the sidebar now it could be a left sidebar right sidebar Three footer areas, remember foot down down below, so three areas down below, and a showcase page widget area. And a custom ephemera widget to display your aside link, quote, or status post. Status means sometimes the status will say you're online if you want to chat and things like that. Right? Included are styles for print and for the admin editor, support for featured images as custom header images on posts and pages. And there's large images featured on sticky posts. Let me mention sticky posts. They're very, very handy. Say, supposing that you are going to put out um, two videos per week. So you're a professional motivational speaker. And you've got this one motivational speaker that is just your, yourself. You videotape yourself or someone that is just brilliant and really, really powerful. And say you're doing a promotion that you're selling that service or the book or something tied to that speaker. You go in to the posts, and there's a little box on every single post uh, that says, make this post sticky. And as soon as you click that, that, it means that that post stays at the top of your website or your blog. And then all your other posts go down below because you want that to be the focus of the week, and that's really, really handy. Okay, uh, sticky posts and special styles for six different post formats. Okay, so the, the options are widgets, menus, theme options, background, and header. We are going to show you now. So when you're looking at a theme, it will always tell you what, what it comes available with. It comes with widgets, it comes with a three-form layout, a two-form layout, you know, and, and things that it'll give you some insight as to what the word blog does for you. Not all word blogs are created equally. Some are, are done by, um, by uh, engineers or some are done by programmers that are just starting out. Some are done by brilliant programmers that have the full meal deal. And I usually go on the star rating. When you get into here, there's going to be a star rating where they'll have one star, two stars, three stars, four stars, or five out of five stars. So I usually pick at least three stars, three and up. I'll show you what I mean when we get in here. Okay, so available themes. So right now it's saying <clears throat> the available themes are 2010 by WordPress. That's all you got. So let's go, let's go click on here. It says Feature Filter. You're going to find this a little bit fun too. So when you click on Feature Filter, you will be taken to here, Current Theme. So Available Themes, 
And then over here to the right-hand side, it'll say Search Installed Themes. Now, here it says Theme Filters. What do you want to filter? Do you want anything with uh, black and red and blue and brown in your website? And do you want one column and do you want a left sidebar? And you can just fill them out and that will act as a filter when you're searching for your themes. And then you click on Apply Filters and uh, it will uh, filter out those that you have selected. So let's unclick them. I just unclick them here. And what we'll do now is we'll go in and take a look. At, did you know that there are over 1,100 themes? <laughs> this is going to be fun. You're going to love this. Search install themes. What happens? When you do search install themes, you've got one because that's all you've got. Right? So when you go over here to install themes, the same thing here. Okay, down at the bottom, down at the feature filter, but down at the bottom here it says find themes. I haven't checked any boxes. Let's see what happens. Ta-da! You see this? Now bring your attention over to here. 1,125 items available. That's a lot of themes to choose from. Bearing in mind that a lot of themes are going to look the same. The one thing that you have to avoid is, as I say, really, really bright colors or, or something that's really, really busy. If you're the more professional you are, the more simple and elegant you want that web presence to be. So let's go and take a look here. So it does 2011, 2010 at uh, Hulpa. I don't even know if I pronounced that right. First Lego, I feature terminally. And what happens is this. When you take a look at a theme, oh, oh, okay, so this one, my wife almost used this one on her blog. Not quite, but almost. Okay, so the details are, okay, so this gets four stars out of five. So that's very, very highly rated. And when you click on Preview, says, okay, marble desktop covered with a mix of old and new items, such as some vintage papers, a stainless steel pen, and a hot cup of coffee. Now, with drop-down menu support, please read the included changelog.txt and readme.txt files for details of the latest changes and important notices. The child theme multi is available for download at blah, 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 blah. So, let's click on Preview. Wow. This... This is nice. This is really nice. So you've got a, a desktop. See, you've got the old letter and the stamp and the iPhone there, and it says Theme Preview. Preview, another WordPress, WordPress blog. 